Hey guys, welcome back to the JTO channel and this is your match review of the Dutch nil and the Czechs 2. Obviously, Czech Republic have shocked Netherlands by beating them 2-0. And um, yeah, if you do enjoy this match review, guys, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn on those post notifications, follow my social media down below. And um, yeah, let's get into this straight away. So, coming into this game, everyone expected the Netherlands to just, you know, Beat Czech Republic, you know, easy game for them. Yeah, get the job done and go ahead and face Denmark. Me personally, I was never like that. If you want me to keep things real with you, did I think people were too harsh on Netherlands at the beginning of the tournament? Yes, but at the same time, did I think that they were always good enough to maybe go far in this tournament? No, I never thought. I saw some people saying they'll get to the final. I said, I was like, that's not going to happen. For me, their problem is their manager. And look, their fans have been complaining that, you know, they've always wanted them to play a 4-3-3. Why are we playing a 3-5-2? And at the time, you know what? It was like, why are you saying this? Like, you've won all your games. Da, 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 da. And you know what? Today, they probably should have. Um, when you think about it, that the lick red card changed everything. Netherlands was just poor in general. Like, I'm not even going to... Before the red card, after the red card, they were just poor in general. And they checked, they stuck by it. They had the better chances in the first half. The second half, they kept on putting pressure. This is a Czech team that, yes, they may have lost to England, but they weren't bad against England. They probably should have got a goal against England if I'm, if I'm going to keep things real. Like, this is a Czech team that, that have... They have no superstars. Um... You know, they've got a good structure to the team. They play good football. They defend very well. They attack very well. So it's not the case of like, you know, oh, they, they're they a bad team or they're some sort of underdog, which they were in so many people's eyes. Because for me, they were not an underdog. I said they can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Dutch today. Dutch, the Dutch are not a special team. You know, they've not got a centre forward on the pitch. They're relying on... Genie Wijnaldum to get them the goals. He, he he was their top scorer in this tournament. That's embarrassing, bro. So I'm not going to sit here and go, oh, yeah, Netherlands definitely... No, that was never going to happen, bro. Like, I'm sorry, but me personally, I'm not surprised. But by the public eye, of course, it's a shock to them because they didn't really... Re they didn't realise that Czech Republic are actually a very well-drilled team. And at the end of the day, these, these men are Frank De Boer, the worst Premier League manager in history, bro. Frank De Boer, the worst manager in Premier League history. Seven games, seven losses, zero goals scored, fam. Yeah? Come on. Jose ripped him apart when he said, um, because Frank De Boer talked about how, oh, it's unlucky for Marcus Rashford to have a manager like Jose Mourinho. And then Jose was uh, replied by saying, well, it's a good thing um, that Mark Rashford doesn't have a manager like De Boer because all he'd be learning is how to lose, you know? Seven matches, seven losses. Worst pre Premier League manager ever, you know? Why, what, what? When I saw them appoint him, you've gone from Ranu Koeman, who, okay, he's, you know what, he's a decent manager, to Frank De Boer. Like, come on. Like, there's levels to this game. Like, come on now. Bro, ridiculous. Um, Czech Republic... Obviously, the delict red card, boy, I, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, he's fallen to the ground and he deliberately slaps the ball away from Schick. And you can see that Schick and um, all the other Czech players are just all over the referee saying, red card, red card. He gave a yellow straight away, but, you know, VAR checked it. He went over to the monitor and checked it. He reversed his decision, gave him red card, rightfully so. And from then on, the Czechs were just all over the Netherlands and it was just due for them to score and obviously they got their goal um a corner came in or maybe a free kick uh Thomas Callas uh from the back post heads it back into the box and holes is there to um really get the header in and it's one nil Czech Republic and at that point the Netherlands have to go for it they're 10 men down all the Czech have to do is defend just decent literally just defend decent because the, the, the Dutch were just bringing nothing going forward. They had zero shots, I think, in the second half. Or maybe by the 85th minute, they had zero shots. I'm not sure about the last five because I, I wasn't really, I don't know. But they these men did not challenge the keeper. That's what I'm pretty much trying to say. The keeper had nothing to do. I may as well have been in net. I'm not a goalkeeper, but you may as well put me in the goal in that second half because they did not do anything. The, the the Dutch. And then obviously the second goal um, 
I think it was Hull who had more desire to get to the ball than Genie Wijnaldum, who just looked like he gave up. He's running with the ball. I thought he was going to shoot. Cuts it back. He gives it to Schick. Schick, boom. Bottom corner. 2 0 Czech Republic. And they thoroughly deserve it. Fair play to them. The Dutch. I'm not surprised. I did expect them to win today because I thought they are the better team. I thought their quality would just shine through, you know, the absolute shambolic of a manager that Frank De Boer is. But I thought, you know what, they've got Genie, Depay, you know, De Jong. I thought, you know what, that would be enough for to beat the Czech Republic. But it wasn't enough. Czech Republic beat them 2-0. They go ahead and face Denmark now. That is the uh, first quarter final that is confirmed. We will see who wins tonight out of Belgium and Portugal. That's going to be an exciting game, guys. Stay tuned on this channel. I'm going to be making a match review for that game. Hopefully, um, you already know who I want to win, but I won't uh, talk on that. So, uh, yeah, guys, if you did enjoy this review, please like, comment, subscribe. Tell me your thoughts on the Dutch. Tell me your thoughts on the Czechs as well, the game. Everything in general. And if you want to put down in the comments who you think will win later tonight between Belgium and Portugal, put it down. I will see you guys then. <laughs> I don't... Bruh. Just bye. <laughs> I don't know.